Hi everybody, Mr. Berg here, and this is a quick video about uh, taking a famous piece of artwork, like Starry Night here, and doing a recreation using what we're going to call a pointillism. Pointillism is um, a style of artwork that's characterized by many, many, many small, colorful dots that are used in place of brush strokes in order to define objects and things like that. So. I'm just going to walk you through a few um, ways to get started on this and um, I'll do a much more detailed video uh, in a little in the next couple of days but this will be a good start for us. So once you choose an image you just copy and paste it into Google Drawings here um, a couple commands that you're going to want to make use of uh, on your keyboard if you hold down control and hold down alt and then press plus on your keyboard, Control Alt Plus, it allows you to zoom in, and then Control Alt Minus allows you to zoom back out. Those keys are up on your keyboard between the letter zero and the backspace key, I believe. Okay, so in order to get a better detail, I'm going to want to zoom in on some things, and I'm going to be using mostly circles. Now, I'm not going to, I'm not going after a billion circles here. So one thing I want to do is talk about kind of the stars and I actually have uh, some created uh, that I'll show you in a few minutes already. But the circle tool, if we go to the shapes right here, select shape over here in shapes and then the circle tool is right there. Now, uh, as you click and drag a circle, it can, you can turn into an oval or anything. But if you hold down your shift key, it keeps it a circle um, that's symmetrical all the way around. I don't know if circles can be symmetrical, but it is. Okay, so what we're going to do is um, talk about the fill color. Um, right here, you'll notice that my, let me make it bigger. My fill color uh, is right up here. Let's just say I want to make it this uh, blue like this. Now, the outline is important as well, or the border. You can make it transparent, or you can make the, the border, any of these gradients too, which I'm going to make a, some use of. Um, here in the video as well. So I'm going to make my border kind of a darker blue like that. And then this button here, border weight, is the thickness of the border. So if you want that border weight to be fairly, let's do it like that and make it kind of thin, just two pixels wide. Good. Okay, so now first thing I'm going to do is zoom in on my canvas here. Control Alt Plus, and that is good. Uh, you can then kind of scroll down and move over using these scrolling bars on the bottom right. Now, what I want to do is kind of use all these circles, and I'm going to use the um, I'm going to use Control C and Control V quite a lot. Uh, that's copy and paste, right? So if I like this blue color, let's say I want to use this blue color for these kind of mountains right here. I want to duplicate this. I'm going to select it, and then on my keyboard, hold down Control and press C. That copies it, and then hold down Control and press V. There's one. And then I can click and drag that over. And then Control V, there's another one. I can click and drag it over. Control V, I can click and drag it over. And now, if I want to keep those colors, but maybe it's too big, once you paste it, you can shrink it down a little bit. Not sure why it keeps moving my canvas like that, but oh well. Okay, and basically what I'm going to do is create this. Uh, I kind of want to keep that small, and that's a little bit of an oval, and I'm okay with that. So I'm going to take that one, Control C, then Control V, and paste a bunch of those smaller ones in there. Okay, I'm not sure why it always jumps over to the side there. I probably should know, but I don't for right now. So the idea here is it, it's not meant to be like super painstaking, but I could see how it might be. Um, because it is going to take some time. So now like to fill in these small areas here, uh, you're going to want to use smaller circles of this blue value. Or blue shade, I should say. You'd be working on here. And one of the cool things you can end up doing is um, overlapping different shapes as well. So like let's say I've done this and now we're getting a little bit too big. I'm going to shrink those down and start filling in some of my area here by doing control C, control C, and then control V. Maybe I want to just grab a bunch of those 
and start filling them in different places, okay? So that's kind of the long and short of it. Now, one thing I wanna show you, I'm gonna zoom back out, hold on, Control and Alt, and then press minus key, is, that's too far, it's going up now. I have already started this, something else on here. I've done a bunch of the stars in here and I'm gonna bring those to the front. I've just been hiding them for right now. So uh, I'm gonna go or order and send two back. So I've created like the moon and these, some of the stars here. And I wanna show you how I did that by creating one of the stars up here in the top right. So I'm going to control V, I'm sorry, control Alt plus, control Alt plus and go uh, up here to the top and show you how I did some of these cool stars. At least I think they're cool. Grab a circle shape. Boom. And I'm gonna hold down shift. Get it about the right size. And then I'm gonna select my color that I want for the back. So let's choose kind of this cool like uh, color like that. And then the border, I wanna make that border kind of this darker, thicker line. Let's leave it like that. I think that's kind of cool. Even though it doesn't look exact, it's close. So now we're, what we're gonna do is create some more circles inside of here. And what I'm gonna do is just change the color of those. So on this one, let's make that one like kind of this green color, like kind of the transparent lightish blue there. Um, I think I should maybe put a yellow circle around that actually. So watch how I'm going to do this. I'm going to stretch a circle, hold down shift, stretch a circle that's a little bit larger than that. And let's choose kind of this transparent yellow color there. And now watch what I'm going to do up here, arrange, order, send backwards. So now what you can do is you can also be on a shape and hold control and press the down key to send it backwards. And uh, it reveals some of those other cool shapes. So what I'm doing for the stars is kind of like building them using these different overlapping shapes. And I know they're not exact, but I think they look pretty cool. Now let's say I wanna shrink, this circle right now is made out of three different, or the star is made out of three different circles. If I wanna shrink all those, what I do is click on the center one, then hold down shift, then click on the next one out, then click on the third one. And so all of them are selected. I'm now gonna hold shift and shrink them down. So you'll notice that for the most part, they kind of shrank or scaled down simultaneously together. Um, I can readjust things a little bit as I go. I might wanna make this blue one here a little bit smaller. So I think it, it is a little bit putsy, but at the same time, man, we're gonna be able to create some really cool artwork uh, and these reproductions of some famous pieces um, using circles. So that's what we're gonna give a try, okay? So there's my star. I'll go back out, control, alt, minus, and zoom my way out a little bit. And uh, as you can see, I'm kind of on my way to creating my own version of Starry Night in the style of pointillism. Sorry this video got a little bit longer than I expected, but uh, remember your shortcuts. Control Alt plus, Control Alt minus uh, to zoom in and zoom out, and then Control C to copy, Control V to paste, and then holding the Shift key allows you to keep those circles circular as you are expanding their size or shrinking their size. Looks like I've got a lot of work to do, so I'm gonna get to work. Thanks everybody, see ya.